I start by making a new analysis profile. A wide range of dependent variables are available to select for your profiles. For instance, you can quantify behaviours like activity with velocity or distance moved, stretch posture with elongation, and searching behaviour with path shape. If you select the in zone variable, you can calculate how often and how much time the mouse was investigating the novel object. I can also calculate this exploration more accurately. I can here calculate how often the head is pointing towards the novel object, but only for whilst the nose point is in the zone called novel object plus two centimeters. You can make a data profile to select only some of your data. Here I create a filter to select trials of phase 2, where the mouse is confronted with objects for the first time. I then do the same for trials of phase 3, where the mouse is confronted with one familiar and one novel object. I collect these data in separate results containers. This means that I'll be able to compare phase 2 trials with phase 3 trials. You can also select parts of tracks by making nesting criteria for the dependent variables. Here I exclude the data from when the mouse was sitting on top of the novel object. The criterion is when the center point is not in the novel object zone. and I repeat that for Phase 3 results. Click Calculate. Of course, you can copy this table and paste it into a stats program. Or you can make an export file. And you can also make an export of the raw data should you want to carry out your own calculations.